You guys are in for a real treat, and I'll tell you why. Hey, 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 Vern. You guys know me, I'm into the ruins. I'm really excited to be in here. Last time I was here, I couldn't get in here, it was closed. I didn't know it was open. You guys are in for a real treat, and I'll tell you why. Because we can go underground. That is, like, unbelievable. Look at that. We're going to go down there, you guys. I never knew he could go down here. I'm so impressed. So excited. I'm even going down into this. This is unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Look at some of these stairs, you guys. They rebuilt the stairs because you see how they were kind of falling apart. It's going to take my time going down here. Wow, this feels like something down here. This is incredible. Wow. My gosh, and what was down there? What was down there? Oh my gosh. I'll tell you something. Out of all the ruins that I've been to, this feels like I'm back in dime. It has the same energy, the same vibe. Look at this. Unbelievable. Look at that. Where did these tunnels go? Man. It's real quiet down here. It's almost like you can't even hear the city. But I can feel the energy of maybe something that used to be in here. I don't know why. I can't explain it. How do you explain it? It's almost like the people that walk these ruins didn't know if they were gonna go home alive that night or not. Most of this place is still buried and they're digging it out. How it got buried, I'm almost thinking that they purposely filled it full of dirt. Maybe they were trying to forget the past. Look at this, you guys. These little dungeon rooms, did the wall break out? What was this concrete with that piece there in the middle? What was that? Is that something later? Wow. Why these openings here? Was there something inside there? What was that all about? Let's see if I can pull my light out here and shine it in there. All right, so it doesn't go back very far. It's all blocked off. But what's super creepy here 
is there's like no sound in here. It's like completely quiet. You can't even hear the city down here. So if you were stuck down here or trapped down here, it'd be very isolating. This little room. What was held in here? Looks to be some kind of an iron ring going around the ceiling too. What on earth did they have housed in this little room? Gosh, it's scary to think about it, right? People were so brutal back in the day. That gives you about an idea of what we're looking at here. You got an opening that's probably a foot and a half wide by maybe three foot tall. This is the opening that I just showed you. And look what's right at the top of the opening. A Christian cross and these strange triangles. Stand back even farther, it looks like this was a larger opening that they closed in years later. The concrete looks a little bit newer. See how it's white? And the stuff beside it is not as is, uh, white. Wow, look at this. It's got a really high ceiling in here. Is this a grave? Was this some kind of cistern? Was it a well? I don't know. Looks to be a watermark there, see that? All the way up to here, actually. At least there's mold growing on the, the rocks. Yeah, that is, maybe it's not a watermark, but look. Look at how the mold's on the rocks, but it's not on the bricks down here and it's not on the rocks higher up. So maybe it is a watermark of sorts. Maybe this did flood out at one time. But you would think that it would be all the way consistent throughout, so I know there's some kind of moisture, so maybe this is a water source and the water coming up through the air is making those rocks moldy on that side and it's not really on this side much either. That's really odd, really odd. Some more low openings in here. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at the mosaics. That's what they were talking about. That's pretty incredible, you guys. Look at that. This is interesting also. You've got a higher wall with an archway with a couple openings that went outside. So was this like a shrine room? What was this area with the mosaics? Another stairway going back up and out. There were a lot of stairways down here. Surprising as many as there are. There again, the low openings. It's kind of freaky. What are those about, right? Look at how the seats are so worn. 
that they're almost not even there anymore. Did people break them up? Did they wear that way? Kind of makes you wonder. So this would have been the really expensive row right here, right next to this chamber. And why is this so filled in with dirt? The people had to have filled this in to maybe forget about the Roman times, the Roman amphitheater. It's the only thing I could think of is they filled this thing in with dirt. They just were tired of the history, maybe the brutality of the times, and they just wanted to forget about it. So they covered up everything best they could try to move forward. I love that these openings are still intact. You can experience it. Look at that, and the ceiling tapers up at an angle. Wow, look at this. Look at that low opening there. Oh, scary to think of what that was for. It's maybe two foot by one foot. Look at these square openings here to this room or chamber, whatever it was. It'll let light in for whatever reason. It seems to be filled in too. All these are filled in. Where did they go? Is there more stuff behind all this? And look at the extra layer of brick. Was this like the fancy room that was made later? And this was kind of the rough, rough wall and then they finished it with this? I don't know. And then why the opening? What's that opening for? God, they did some scary stuff back in the days, right? My goodness, you guys, if I could take you somewhere, I would take you here. Look at this. Another underground stairwell. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's completely dark, you guys. That's spooky. That's really spooky. See, so that gave some light to here. Is that what that was for? Boy, this is spooky going down here, you guys. Real spooky. I'm just going slow until my eyes adjust. It's filled in there if there was something there. Spooky though, had a weird vibe. <laughs> Almost like I didn't need to keep going down there. Just get that feeling sometimes. It's time to pull out. Well, it's kind of the feeling I had. Time to get out of there. This was moving and grooving. Look at this place, unreal. Really high ceilings. This is like a main gallery in here. Wow. Really weird. Why the high ceiling? What was back in here? Oh my gosh. What was back here that they needed to have this big of a ceiling? What's up with that? 
Where does that go? Now I gotta know where the hell that goes. What the heck? Look in this gallery with this massive ceiling, it's elaborate archways, and then it leads all the way up to here, and then it's blocked off. It's like, what the heck? That's not fair. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom up there. Does it keep going back? I'm sure it does. Amazing. I had no idea I could come down into this to see all these things. Before when I was here, I just had seen the outer part and I didn't see much that was left. And I thought, oh, that's kind of disappointing. And then to think that you could actually come down into this. How incredible is that? Some more little openings. I'd imagine there were some statues here. Just tunnels all the way around this whole thing. Wow, what's in here that's so special? Oh my gosh. It's another, it's another underground. Where does that go? All right, guys. Not sure if that's anything, but let's zoom out on it. So what's this other underground here thing there? It's kind of got me baffled. It's off limits, so I can't get in there. No idea what's down there, guys. I'll back it off. So stairway going down. Where does that go? I don't know. I wish I did know. I wish I knew where that stairway led to. That's where it pays to know somebody in these places. So this was probably more for show. They had all the bricks with no rocks in between. It's probably for fancy display purposes. There used to be some stairs here. See the brick? Ah, there's another opening right up in there. See it? I bet that leads to the other entrance that we were just looking at. Let's see if I can find it here. That's the other opening I think that that gate leads to. Back in the day, I doubt there were houses right at the top of this place. It was probably shops, uh, a business district, I don't think you would have a house overlooking this. Probably the real estate was too valuable at the time. So what's it like to walk this ground? It's kind of hard to put it into words because a lot of this still hasn't been uncovered. So I don't know what I'm walking on. They said that there were tombs from the Christians that were buried here. So whose tomb am I walking on now? Right? It's still covered in dirt. Hard to say. To think that they filled all this in. Look at the enormity of it. And why are the stairs in such bad shape? Did the locals destroy them where they're completely unusable? Because if you think of this, you couldn't like use them to the point where they were that bad. It would never have gotten that bad. It just would have either had to have broken down or been broken down. And if you see the stairs, the stairs are still somewhat there and they would take more wear than the seats would. It just doesn't seem logical that these seats didn't kind of get broken up to some degree by people. That's my best thought on that. And even the seats in Ephesus, as rough as they were, they weren't nearly as, as rounded off as these seats here. They're, they're almost undistinguishable as seats. There's just a couple little areas that maybe they could still be used, but not much. And could it have worn away in time? Sure. It sure could have. I could be wrong. I've been wrong probably more times than I've been right. 
I'll be the first to admit that. I've been humbled more times than Carter has liver pills, <laughs> as they used to say back in the day. So this would have been a main entrance to have entered years and years ago. So there's what's left of a wall and then a lot of pieces. So if you think about it, somewhere down here is a stage. And how far down in that dirt is it? Does it go to the very bottom? Is this part of the stage right up here? Hard to say, they won't know till they keep digging. They've got a long way to go. So what was this area for? Were there more rooms down here? Was this an underground? Were there buildings on top with a second level down below? If you look at the level here of the bottom, if, the, if that is the bottom, and then you look at all the overburden here, you can see how much stuff they have to dig out to uncover this whole thing. It's a lot. And it's something that you have to do really slow. And I hope that within my lifetime, somebody would do that, dig this thing out and discover what's left here. Maybe they'll find a statue. Maybe they'll find something really cool. Only time will tell. What was this little box area used for that I'm standing in? What was that for? Is it like a front row seat to cheer on the gladiator as he comes flying out of this opening? God only knows. So if you think about it, was making concrete a blessing or a curse? Look what they used it for, right?